and Priyanka stand for? Young, fun, vivacious. Um, you know, um, not too many things intelligent, important. Right. <laughs> so, how do you track uh, your brand valuation, so to speak? How do I evaluate it? Uh, depending on the market. I mean, you have to be aware. You can't really sit on your own shell and expect a certain, um, you know, a certain, whether it's a figure, whether it's a certain amount, brand, or it's whether even the reaction of the market to you. And but I also think it is important to be able to uh, position yourself at a point where you think this is what you deserve. Of course, it shouldn't be unreasonable. Right. But it should be this is what you deserve and then you stick by it. Right. Has it been impacted a lot by the recession? Um, not a lot, but a bit. Uh, fortunately for me, I've had films which have done well back to back. Right. And uh, so it really hasn't affected me that much. But it, I mean, as a market, I can tell. You know, I can tell not just by my remunerations, sure. but, but generally in terms of budgeting, in terms of um, a lot of brands that I work with uh, can't, cannot afford renewals or they cannot, a lot of people get, um, you know, uh, taken out of their jobs and, you know, the budgets for commercials go down. A lot of those kind of things happen. Fortunately for me, it didn't really happen directly to me. Priyanka, how much do you think through before you do an ad? I do think through a lot. I need to be associated with brands I can say are premium in their categories. They have to be uh, brands that I associate with. Um, if I'm telling you to buy uh, Sun Silk Shampoo, you, uh, I need to be able to convince you because I believe it's a, it's a great product. Um, I've used it. I can say that I've used it and I can say it's good. I would never associate myself with a brand just because it paid me a lot. I can't seem to do that. So if you just jog your memory a bit and go back to when you did the Pons ads with Seth, to the new, uh, you know, the Honda Pleasure ad. Uh, did you think through the Pons ad? Because, you know, the, it, it was pretty regressive in its thought process. Uh, I disagree. I don't think the, in fact, the Pons commercial was the only commercial which did not say that you will get fair in uh, seven days. It did not say your color will change. It did not say if you're dark and you suddenly become white. It was the only commercial, if you watch it carefully and um, you jog your memory back into that, it said that you will get a pinkish glow a glow to your skin in seven days. I, I ne they never showed me as dark and uh, it just showed me as underconfident. Sure. And then at the end of the commercial, I was glowing. We never said that, you know, in seven days you suddenly become gori gori. I'm dusky myself and I'm very proud to be dusky myself. I would never go around saying that, you know, you need to become fair and that's the only way you'd be beautiful because I don't endorse that. Sure. Which is why when I endorsed pawns, I was very clear with them about that and they were very clear about the fact that that's not what they wanted to show. <laughs> To watch more, subscribe to youtube.com slash ET Now Light.